Hi besties! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping back. Or if you're new here, thanks for dropping by. I'm glad you found my channel. If you like my content, please give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to do a Timu haul today. It's probably going to be super random as always. And then I have a couple other things I just wanted to show you guys that I've got lately in the mail. Um, so yeah, by the way, I have an affiliate code or a coupon code I'll put on the screen. It's also, everything's going to be down in the description box. Um, I'll have a link to my orders if Timu allows me to link them. Sometimes I go to link them and it says it, can't, it just gives you like share.timu.com. Um, so, but if you need a link to something, just let me know. I will try my best to get it to you unless it's been discontinued, which hopefully not. Um, I guess that's about it. Let's, yeah, so look in the description box for everything, um, I guess. Is that it? I hate to go on and on about Timu, but Timu, if you've never shopped there before, or Temu, however you want to say it, it's like an online marketplace, kind of like Amazon, but not really, because they kind of cut out the middleman and give you a better deal on things. You can always get coupons. There's price adjustments on your order, which you can do more than once. Um, I actually get quite a bit of credit back doing price adjustments. Um, sometimes 20 bucks. Like, I'll forget to go back through my orders and do my price adjustments. So if you've never done those, you need help figuring that out, let me know. You can also become a Timu affiliate if you have a channel or a page somewhere on Facebook or Instagram. Um, you can also become an affiliate and they give you seeding money to get some things to review. Um, this is not a sponsored haul. Most of the things I buy are with my own money. So anyway. That's my Timu spiel, so let's get on to it. First thing I want to show you guys, okay, so I have some friend mail going out to some really great ladies who um, are other haulers on YouTube, and I have seen this Silky Gem candy before on, I don't even know, like Facebook or something, and this is candy, okay, but it looks like crystals. Like, these things are so cool looking. Like, let me show you. That's what they look like. They're like little geodes of candy. I don't think it's focusing, but, or maybe it's trying hard to focus, but it's not. <laughs> but they're like really these cool little crystal candies. Um, so I got this box. Of course, this is like not sponsored. I just wanted to kind of try it. So I'm going to send one to each of the girls and I am going to try one here. So they all have flavors. This one is pomegranate. Um, they have pear strawberry, um, peaches and vanilla. This one is uh, passion fruit, lychee, um, guava, cherry, and raspberry. So you get a whole bunch of different flavors. I think this box was like 45 bucks though, but they're the coolest candies. They look like little crystals. So I thought we would try one together. And then the rest of these I'm going to give, I'm going to give out in friend mail. So let me put them back in the the box they come in this box just like this so this is the one I'm gonna bite into it is pomegranate so let's just take a look see I'll show it to you they're hard looks like a hard candy kind of but it looks like a crystal so smells good mmm okay so it's crunchy, but the center is like, I don't, it's like jelly. Mmm. I'm not getting pomegranate like really heavy, but it's definitely fruity, but super crunchy. So yeah, you never heard of them. Check out their website. Again, not sponsored. Just thought it was something cool that I would show you. All right. One other thing I want to show you that I got while we're at while we're before we hit the before we hit the Timu really hard. I have had this order from Etsy forever. I don't even know if I have a. She didn't even. I don't think the girl put like a receipt in here. But oh shoot, I don't know if I just showed my address or not. But I'll tell you what. I literally this was shipped to me on January sixteenth, and I've had it like downstairs. Just, I bought some stuff off of uh, Etsy. The Etsy store is called Maggie's Farm and Aromatics. So I want to try these. They're rosemary lemon shower steamers. You place the desired amount of shower steamers into the edge of the water spray. Not suitable for baths, but I, I just wanted to try those. 
and she has soaps and all kinds of things so then here's the soap that i got it's goat's milk soap this one is the orange zest um so we'll open that and smell it this one i got is called whiskey and coffee so i thought that was pretty cool and then i got a couple of her homemade lip balms but again it's called maggie's farm and aromatics.com she must have a website too so this is a homemade honey lip balm with lavender and peppermint so i can't wait to try that and then this one is lip balm and banana which is brian's favorite flavor so i thought one for him one for me we use a lot of lip balm it smells so fr i love peppermint anything Oh, it's so nice. It smells so good. And I had lipstick on, so that was probably a bad idea, but I can smell the lavender. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Okay, so let's take a sniff of these. Rosemary Lemon Shower Steamers. I wanted the eucalyptus ones for, like, cold season, but she was sold out. Ooh! Oh, those smell so good. Those smell so good. So that's what they look like. It's like a little cube, but oh yes, they definitely smell like rosemary and lemon, so I can't wait to try those. And let me cut this bar of soap open. I love buying stuff off of Etsy, off of like small sellers, and I love handmade items, so yeah. I love, you know, um, buying from small stores, so this is what the bar of soap looks like out of the package. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely orangey. It smells like a... Uh, Smells like something like a, oh, you, you know those orange cup, Hostess cupcakes? That's what this smells like. Ooh, I love that. I love that. And it's goat's milk soap, so. And then this is whiskey and coffee. I thought Brian would like it. I thought it would be like more on the manly side so he could use it. And I ripped the dang label. Oops. But they're very, so that's what the whiskey and coffee one looks like. It's got like coffee right here. Okay, it, sm it smells like, um, it smells like whiskey for sure. <laughs> like, heavy, heavy on the booze scent. I'm not getting coffee as much, but definitely heavy on the booze scent. Very manly, very masculine. So I just want to show you guys that stuff. Like, you know, no, I just had it sitting around for so long. And I, you know, after I took that couple weeks break and I didn't want to leave it sit much longer because I wanted to use it. So I just figured I'd show you while I was on here. So yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, so let's get into this Timu haul. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out of here. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Avalanche, avalanche. Okay, let's start with this. I swear, y'all, I, I know I bought this on my last haul. I know I bought this, it's 648. It's the magnetic palette again. Maybe I, no mirror. I swear I just hauled, I know I hauled this in my last haul. This is what happens. I forget when I buy stuff and then, <sighs> oh well, yeah, so I got two magnetic palettes. Maybe I'll use like one for eyeshadows and one for cream because you should never ever mix your cream products with your powder products in a palette. So yeah, this was 648. I think it's cool. Now there's no mirror in this one, but there was a mirror in that mermaid looking when I hauled a couple hauls back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> And I know this is a shocker, but a set of nails. Now, I think I saw Simply Jessica Marie get these exact same nails. I'm like, ooh, I have to have those because they're like pink and white. And pink's my favorite color. And these were $2.79. They're the handmade nails. And I think I bought a, like a couple sets of these. Actually, I think there might be another set in this haul. But so you get the um, like a little, uh, oops, my bag just fell over. You know, uh, why can't I think? I, I have menopause brain right now. Menopause brain, menopause brain. You get the glue tabs and a file. Oh my gosh. Whew. Menopause brain. So yeah, I love these. They're like pink and then there's like a pink striped and then like a sparkly kind of gold one right here. But I like these because the, the sparkly one isn't um, rough. Like they actually put like a top coat kind of over it, which... Some of the nails on Timu, they don't do that. Like, not the handmade ones. Like, the handmade ones are always really good. So, definitely highly recommend the handmade nails. And I think I, I always get mine in a medium. Um, sometimes if they're sold out, I'll get a large. Honestly, the sizes seem to not really vary ex extensively much. So, yeah, love those. Love the colors. 
Okay, what do we have here? I gotta better put my spectacles back on because my eyes can't see. This was a dollar thirty-three. Uh, it looks like a necklace. If I can get the package open. Or it's some kind of set. Okay, so it's a set. Oh, so this is kind of like a Kendra Scott dupe. It's the Druzy earrings and then the matching necklace. So, I mean, you get necklace and a set of earrings for $1.33. I mean, that's that's pretty dang good. That's pretty dang good, right? Am I right? So I actually got it in gold, which what? Who even am I? Because I hardly ever buy anything in gold. But look how pretty it is with the gold druzy. See, I like that. I like the aesthetic of that and the chain is like really nice. And so the earrings are just a match to the necklace and they're just on wire, you know, wire ear, wire jewelry, whatever, wire ear hangers. I don't know what to call them. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. I, I mean, I'm usually not a huge fan of gold, but every once in a while, you know, sometimes I think in the summer when I have a tan, I look better in the gold. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I don't know, but I thought for a dollar thirty, a dollar thirty three for a necklace and a pair of earrings. If you wanted to give this as a gift, stick it on like stick it in a jewelry box, and nobody would like even know that it was a dollar thirty three. There's like no way in heck. And I will say, I've never had the only other the only other other blah, 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 can't talk tonight. I had too much coffee today, so now I'm stuttering over my words. The only time I've ever had Timu jewelry tarnish is when I've got it wet. If I get it wet, you know, don't ever get your jewelry wet, honestly, no matter what it is. <clears throat> so, I don't know what this is, but they are really tiny. Tiny pair of earrings for $2.39. Wow, these are, like, really tiny studs. Hold on, let me see how I'm even going to hold these. Oh, my gosh. These were actually $2.39, so they were more than that three-piece set. I literally, I don't know how I'm going to hold these. See them? They're like little Aurora Borealis. Really cute. These would be great for, like, teens or young girls uh you know maybe for their birthday or something these are great they're very pretty they're so small my camera hardly wants to focus but yeah so yeah these were 233 they were actually more than the necklace but you get two two sets of earring backs with them these like little those little plastic ones which i can't even hold them up to show but yeah so 239 for those that earring earrings so this is a ring, so I'm going to take my ring off and set it on my ring holder. This was $2.69, silver of course, I got a size 7, and it's got a big like sapphire color on it, which is my birthstone. Woo! Yeah. Heck yeah. Look at, I'm bougie. I'm bougie. Hey sis, look at my big sapphire. No just a shirt but this shirt I got forever ago from like Shein or Timu and I hated it I, I couldn't even fit into it so now I can kind of fit into it it's a little like snug but I like it because it's got sparkles in it I don't know if you can even tell but it reminds me of like it reminds me of uh the you know looking up at the stars in the sky but this ring matches it so yeah this is really pretty I love it there is some like stones along the side. The setting is beautiful. Look at the setting on this thing. Like amazing. Love it. Love it. So that was $269. $269 for that ring. And in totally unrelated news, I got these. <laughs> yeah, these were $5.98. And you know, it's springtime. We gotta clean up those mulch beds, right? So we, that's what I'm planning on doing with these if I can get the bag open now I when I first saw these I, I just grabbed them I'm like you know what because I have a bag stand like that you set you know your bag up it like holds your bag up so you can like throw mulch in it and stuff and so you just take these things and you put your hands in them and when you get like a pile of leaves these look like Hulk hands only with way more fingers like a Edward Scissorhands Hulk but they're like leaf, you know, you like scoop up the leaves and put them in your bag, scoop up the leaves or whatever and put them in your bag. So yeah, I don't know how long they'll last. They're plastic. I mean, you know, but ooh, jazz hands. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Not so sure about those, but you know, it's better than like taking your hands. Like we usually rake stuff up and then, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I was just trying to make it a lot easier on us. <laughs> okay, next up. This was a dollar sixty. Wow, that was a bargain. Whatever it is, dollar sixty. Uh oh. Do you know what this is? So, 
This goes on the side of like a pickle jar or say you have jalapenos or whatever. So you hang it on the side of the jar. Oh, this must go down. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Oh, wait, there's another part. That's what I'm missing is this part because you put this around your jar and then this hangs on the side somehow. I need the instructions. I'm really bad with this kind of stuff. I, it would literally together before I took it apart. Either way, however this works, you put it on here. This is like a little like a little thing that holds it on the side of the pickle jar. And then you can like get a pickle out with these. They're, they're obviously it's covered up. It's like a fork, but you can dig a pickle out or whatever. And then you just leave this on the jar. Or there's a spoon if you want to use the spoon. Maybe the spoon connects down here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll have to, like, look it up. Or maybe I'll put a picture up of it so you can, like, kind of see what it looks like. Because I'm obviously too blonde to figure it out right now. So there is that. Maybe it goes this way. I think it, I think it goes this way on the... I think it goes this way on the jar. Would that make sense? Or, yeah. I don't know. Either way... I'll just put a picture in because obviously my brain cannot function right now. And so, yeah, but for a buck 60, like, I hate, like, getting, getting the open in the pickle jar and, like, digging down in there with, like, a fork anyways. You just leave that fork on the side of your, of your pickle jar and anytime you want a pickle, you just get it right out of there, you know, or a jalapeno or whatever. Okay, so this is a little crafting item. Uh, this was $2.54 and it is a, uh... So it's, it's used to distress, but it comes with these little pads, and then you put the pads on here somehow, probably this way, like that. And then you take your distressing ink, and you, like, go like this with it, and it, like, distresses the edges on things. So you get this part, and you get an extra distress pad, or whatever you want to call those. So that's what I use these for. Of course, I haven't done any journaling in a while, so who am I kidding? But, yeah, it was $2.54. I probably have ink in here, too, somewhere, I bet. Okay, another ring. Let's check this ring out. So, this was $2.98. You know me and my rings. I have so many rings. It's, yeah. Ooh, this one's really pretty, guys. $2.98. Look at that. Heck, yeah. Look at the, look at the sides on that. Wow. Wow. Wow, bougie queen over here. I love that. I love it. I love the setting. It's like got that like crisscross type of setting. Ooh, that's so nice. $2.98 for that. You cannot beat a ring for $2.98. Okay, I've shown you guys a set like this before. I don't know if it was silver, but I, I because I bought probably every single color of this because it's three pieces for one thing. And it was $2.19. That's less than a dollar for each piece in here, okay? And the chain is actually, like, quite long. But this is what the set looks like. It's, again, it's a Druzy, very Kendra Scott-ish. Um, but that this is what the set looks like. I mean, so freaking pretty. I'm sorry to use the word freaking on, on a holiday. $2.19. But the, 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 look at the... I can't even speak. Look at the um, chain. It's got these like little bobbly beads kind of on it. It's just so pretty. It's so well made that I can't even with it. Like I think I might give the, one of these something like this to my mom for like Mother's Day. But like I said, if you don't like it on this type of card, go on Timu or Amazon or somewhere and find like some jewelry, uh, you know, things, jewelry containers or whatever you want to call them, jewelry gift wrap of some sort. But I mean, this whole set for $2.19... That's crazy. That's insane pricing. Insane pricing. I'm just going to set this on there. Let's see what else we got in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I have another set of these that I've already shown in like pink or red. But these are $3.19 and they're just hair clips. But I thought they were so stinking adorable because they're like little hearts but they're like wrapped in yarn of some kind. So you get a black one and then there's this other like black and white one. And they're very... They're very well made, like they're not plasticky, they're almost like metal teeth, but how stinking adorable are these? I love them. They're very, very well made, they're metal. So, you know, you have to worry about like a little tooth cracking and flying off like a Dollar Tree 
clip or something, you know? So for $3.19, I thought, that's pretty, that's pretty good for those. They're really cute. I really like those. Very cute. Let's see what's next. Woo, it's like a mystery. It is a mystery. Okay, $1.60 again. This looks like another one of those fork things. It probably is. I probably bought more than one. Yeah, I did. Same thing, guys. It's like the old... Okay, so it's in here like this. So I assume it goes this way. Oh, okay. I had it upside down. Okay. But yeah, $1.60 for these. I, I got a few because, I mean, we usually always keep, like, pickles, um, mild pepper rings, jalapenos you know, things like that. And they'll be really, uh, that'll be really good to have in the summertime. Like if you're having a cookout or something, that way if someone wants pickles on their burger, they're not like digging their hands down in the jar. You just stick, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like a sanitary thing too, I think. But, and then here's another set of those pink nails. I absolutely, every time I find something I like, I always buy doubles or triples of them because they sell out. So yeah, 314 for these nails is exactly the same set as the ones I showed you a little while ago. Okay, let's couple more things in here and then we'll go to the next bag okay I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys these two it's another set of nails these were three dollars and 59 cents and they look like this they're white and then the the other pink ones have like a let me try and get this wrapper off the other pink ones have like a um oh, okay just opened right up they're almost like little pearls in the crisscross how stinking cute are those freaking adorable i love them and i got these in the size medium too so yeah 359 but like i said if you if you haven't tried the timu handmade nails look them up get yourself a couple you know a couple sets because they're really good okay 548 for this it says european style i don't know what that could be but oh i bought this for my car it's like a little essential oil thing how cute is this? It like, it's got, you know, you stick it on your, it's like a vent clip. And then look how cute it is. It's like a little bottle, crystally bottle with some bobbles up here. And then you just open it somehow, maybe. Yeah, you twist it open. And then you put your essential oil down in here and the cap is made of um, cork. So the essential oil will like go up into the cap, essentially. <laughs> so, uh, that was funny. Get it? Essential oil, essentially. Yeah. But anyways, I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up tonight and put it in my car tomorrow. I just thought it was really pretty. And I think they had different colors, but isn't it just really pretty? You know, Gigi, if you're watching this, you, this would be really pretty in Pearl. Her car's name is Pearl. She just got a new car, but I love that. So yeah, definitely going to use that tomorrow for sure. Okay, so I have some like home decor um if you guys watch Mimi's life I swear her and I are like twins on uh home decor <laughs> Mimi if you're watching Diane I love you um but like literally she will buy something for her house I'm like oh I love that you know so I am pretty sure that she's bought these and I'm pretty sure that I bought them a couple times but you get two of these and they're like they're like candle rings but I use them as little wreaths so you get two for $5.59. And let me just show you these because they are really nice. Um, I When I bought these the first time, I was ecstatic about them. Ecstatic. So they look like this. I'm going to gently pull them apart. But they are like, you could use them as candle rings. And of course, they need some floofing. But they're like eucalyptus leaves and they've got some berries on them. And, you know, you, you definitely got to floof everything you get from Timu, you know, to make it look good. You got to... Got to get in there and dig around a little bit and make it floofier, you know, but it's like, it's like, a, it's so pretty. Like, I'm going to actually take these upstairs right now and put them in my, I mean, are, could, could, are they a little sparse? Yes, but, you know, if you floofed it the correct way or you added in maybe a little bit of lavender or whatever, it, it would look so pretty. But I love the little, um, like, berries or I don't know what these are. This one actually fell off of the other one, but... I don't even know what those are, but yeah, you just, you really just kind of have to floof it out. I mean, they're floofable for sure. So fluff them out. And I, I think these are adorable. You get two of them for $5, 559. So that's like two thirty a piece. Super cute, super adorable. Absolutely love these. Highly recommend. Actually, this one kind of looks 
you know, like it's already kind of put together, but you know, I, I like these just as little small wreaths to hang on your wall or, you know, you can use them as candle wreaths or whatever, but I think they're adorable. And for $5.59, I know I bought them more than one time. I can't say enough about them. $5.59 for those. Okay, this is two kind of the same thing. And I talked about this, I think, in my last video, but Simply Jessica Marie had this idea of taking these like see-through makeup bags and putting jewelry in them for like each specific um, holiday. So if you have jewelry you wear on Valentine's Day or jewelry you wear in the summer or the winter, because I change my jewelry a lot based on um, the, the holidays. Uh, you know, I have a lot of wintry themed bracelets and earrings. I have a lot of Valentine's Day themed things, Christmas, like, you know, fall. So yeah, I, that's what these are for. They're literally the same thing. So I'll just open one. Um, they were both $4.29. Uh, it's just a makeup container, really. It's just a plastic makeup bag. Um, but they're very, very well made. And you just, you again, you gotta floof them out. Gotta floof it. Gotta floof it. But it's just a little makeup bag that you can see into, so you know what you have. And then this way, you're your um jewelry doesn't get dirty or dusty you know like my house is really dusty i don't know about you guys but and so yeah that way i can see what i have so for 4.29 i got two and then i think i got one in my last haul so i'm going to start putting my putting my jewelry in there okay um oh these were really pretty and i feel like i might have shown these before but these were two dollars and 96 cents and they are called the it's called magic girl but they are pieces of like ephemera or I don't know, I guess you could call it that. But they're pieces of like, what do I want to say? Like scrapbooking type of paper. But I thought they were gorgeous and I had to have them. I had to have them. I just think they're amazing. Like, look at that girl on there. I mean, that is like a Viking princess queen if I ever did see one, you know. And then look at this owl. Oh, to die, to die for. They're just so pretty, but look, here she is again. I love these. They just reminded me of, like, very, you know, kind of got boho witchy vibes. Like, look at her there with her ripped jeans. Like, this would be me if I was a cartoon. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I wish. You know, that would be me in cartoon life, I guess. But look at this one. It's got, like, this one is so pretty. It's got, like, little high heels down here. I mean, how, how great are these? They're just so awesome. And then there's this little bat guy here thing. And then they're just really, I just really like them. They're, they're really going to be great for like journaling or putting in scrapbooks or junk journaling or mixed media art or whatever it is that you like to do. So yeah, I don't know how many are here, but there's several. Um, but they, yeah, they were two ninety six, and I just love the art on them. I think they are amazing. Like they're beautiful, really beautiful. So yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about them. <laughs> They're beautiful. Okay, um, let's see, what is this? Socks, of course. If you have never bought Timu socks, highly recommend Timu socks. Extremely recommend. These were $2.69. They're five pairs. I wear Timu socks all the time, and I absolutely love these. They are, they have like a heart print, and they're like ribbed. And then they got the little lettuce edging right here. And then you get this, like, this is like a taupe kind of pair. You get the black and white pair. You get this really cute summery green pair. There's, like, this white with these, like, peachy, beigey hearts. And then the black pair. But I just absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. They don't ruin. I, I've washed Timu socks many, many, many times. Absolutely love these. Yeah, so... If, you, if you're worried about their socks, definitely check them out. Okay, let me pull this out of here. Oh, oh Lord, it all fell apart. Look at that. Don't you love the packaging sometimes? Okay, so this is a car dashboard type thing to hold your phone. Um, I thought I would try and use it to maybe do some videos in my car. Um, maybe like a Dollar Tree haul here or there. So it kind of looks like this. I don't even know if you can see that on there. kind of looks like that. Um, $2.54 for this. So I don't know. I'm going to try it. I, I have a hard time like lining up 
my phone with how I how I want you know to be seen in my car I don't know does that make sense at all I don't know but anyway you can set it up like this this can I mean I you can use this a couple different ways but so yeah that's what it is it's just a phone holder for the car okay I have a couple of big packages in here so I we're almost down to the nitty gritty sorry if my table is shaking I'm trying to get everything out of this bag all right we'll take this out first Okay, this was $5.48, and, oh, I know what this is. Do I? Do I? Yeah, okay. So this is just like an acrylic um, lipstick kind of holder thing, and I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to use it for, but I don't even have a tube of lipstick down here. Dang it. But it sits up on your desk or whatnot, and then, of course, this is too big, but you would put your tubes of lipstick in here, you know? So, yeah, I have several lippies, and, you know... Yeah, but I really like it. It's got like some cuts along the side that make it look a little bit bougie. But yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. Acrylic holder. Five, five, what did I say that was? 548. So nothing super fun there, but yeah, I like it. And that'll try to do a little bit of organization in my room, or in my makeup room. Which this might be an organizer too, I'm not sure. Okay, $4.98 for this, and yes, it is an organizer. <laughs> I must have been on an organizer kick. Um, so, no, oh, this is like a palette holder. So you stick your palettes, like, in here. I don't even have an eyeshadow palette or anything down here, but just an acrylic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It holds, like, seven palettes. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I used to be, like... I used to have every, I used to have to buy every single palette that came out. Like, if it was brand new, I had to buy it. I had to have it. I have skimmed down my palettes. I used to have like a hundred. I'm not even kidding. I donated them. I gave them to my friends and I'm down to like four or five. So, yeah, I just thought redo my makeup room and organize it a little bit. And so that's what, that's what those are for. Okay, one last big huge box. Look at this. Okay, okay. Twelve twenty-eight. This was my big oh okay, it's more organization. Twelve twenty-eight, my big my my most expensive thing probably in the last two packages. Ugh. Come on, come out of there. Okay, twelve twenty-eight for this. It's an acrylic. Uh actually I have it upside down. So it's like an acrylic organizer. Looks like this. It's pink. It's got some area. Ooh, the drawers are all oh, good. The drawers stop when they can, they won't fall out. Excellent. So the top looks like this. You have places to put stuff, and then a bunch of drawers, and then of course I'm gonna have these other acrylic things. So yeah, twelve twenty eight. I don't know if this was worth twelve twenty eight. Mm, that's a little bit on the high side, but I mean, you know, you win you win some and you lose some on Timu, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, guys. Uh, that was my big finale, I guess. So, I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please leave me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I guess that's all. Check my, check my description box for codes or links or anything like that. Or if you want to link for something, I almost lost my voice there. If you want to link for something, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to give it to you. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.